Hey guys, so finally got a lot of questions and emails regarding the truck, what's been done to it, what I've done so far. So I thought I'd put a little video together, kind of explain what I've been doing with this truck. So first off, the interior. So these are Viper OEM seats of a, I believe I purchased them of a 06 from there. This is a console of a 2015 Challenger. Steering wheel is OEM 2016 Viper. Airbags installed. Got LED lights in the truck. This is the start of the gauge cluster. It'll be coming up pretty nice. Still in the states getting built right now. So basically, this is my ratchet shifter, outlaw shifter. We got neutral, drive, overdrive. Third, second, first. Nice and easy. Still got those gauges in there, all the temperature. That's going to be coming out. I'm going to put aftermarket gauges in there. Sits a little too close to the handle. This is all getting molded. This is all being wrapped in Napa leather, which you'll find in OEM Vipers. All going to be hand stitched to match all this. This is first bind. It's basically cuts, kills all the rear brake lights. Everything third brake light won't see nothing. Only headlights are operational when this is on. Right here, line lock installed on the shifter there. This stock radio for now. iPad's going to be installed in here later. We're going to have front and rear backup cameras. This is kind of how the gauge cluster is going to look. That's just the gauges right now. The other rest of the OEM Dodge cluster is coming. We're going to have the Viper down here. And then we're on this side, we're going to have the RT. It's all going to be wrapped up. It's going to be nice and finished. Right now, it doesn't do it justice. Got eight kilometers on the truck. Since all full rebuild. Everything's nice, Napa leather. Everything's going to run. All the door panels will soon be wrapped. Go ahead, have little tweeter speakers up in here. All the pillars going to be wrapped. It's going to look mint. The whole interior underneath all the carpets, all gone sound densening. Right now, I got three subs tucked under the back here. Can't really tell right now, everything's under there. All that's going to be redone later. That's basically the interior of the truck. From there, the usual Viper brakes, 13 half inch rotors. These are 19 inch rims. There are 345s in the back. I had another set cut down to a 10 inch wide rim. Only wheels in my knowledge that exist in a 19 by 10 OEM Viper wheel. From there, hood latch, Viper style. Bill aluminum Viper logo. This is a 410 stroker. As you can see, no wiring. Can't see nothing. This is everything is new and clean. Braided hardline brakes, Mopar PPH mid length headers, soon to be Spintec long tubes next year. Just for now. That's a 750 double pumper carb, Holly. All new MSD. MSD box is hidden under the cowl there. Had the wiper shield here painted gloss black. Aeromotive uh, fuel lines, fuel pressure regulators, tranny dipstick, it's an 8518 tranny, aftermarket tranny module in there. As you can see, nice and clean. Brand new red, tranny cooler installed right there. LED headlights, LED fog lights. Going to try to get on the dyno soon. See what this thing actually puts down to the wheels. Everything's been stripped out of the truck that I could. But 
the the whole frame has been coated in poor 15 low flush tunnel cover not much left on these rear tires it's going to be ordering sets of 345 soon and that nice clean rt logos got the whole truck repainted last year three coats of clear on it windows are getting tinted a few more things left to get finished off here Can't get the tunnel off, just hold on the phone here. Everything is clean. Next week's supposed to be nice weather. Probably put a permit on it for Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere in here. Then take her out. Get a little good rip out of her. We'll post another driving video soon.